Uh oh, there is a third species, if that's the right word, a third species of algae that's now blooming in Florida. As you can see on your screen, there's a lot of dead fish decomposing right there. This is not a pleasant circumstance. Mm -hmm. Joining us, he's been on the show before, Carl Havens, Florida Sea Grant Director. This third algae bloom, as we're calling it, this species, where's it coming from? Well, this is like a triple play this summer, but not in a good way. Um, so we've talked about red tide and we've talked about the blue-green algae blooms in Florida. And now we're seeing seaweed washing up on the shores in Miami and Fort Lauderdale along that beach. And they're having it all around the Caribbean and they're having it on the shore of Mexico too. And it's, and it's coming from down in the Caribbean, uh, farther south than, the, than uh, the small islands, offshore of Brazil. And it's, it's a natural seaweed called sargassum. It's, a, it's an important um, weed in the ocean because it's habitat for fish and turtles. But it's being fueled by a lot of nutrients coming out of the Amazon River Basin because of deforestation. And so the pollution that's causing that bloom is creating a, a, an algae bloom down there in the ocean. And the currents are just carrying it up here and depositing it at our shores. Is that so, new? This, this, this new, I'm going to call it an algae bloom, sounds like a seaweed bloom more than anything else. Is, is this new? You've not seen it before? Yeah, so it's been happening since around 2010. And I don't know um, whether it's just a cycle that uh, we're in a period of time where it's more intense than usual or whether it's a trend. No, no one can tell that. Um, but it's happening right now, and it's a real problem for tourism in a lot of the small yeah. tourist islands. What was this about s dust from the Sahara Desert <laughs> blowing over? I mean, is that a red herring to, to coin a phrase? It's not a red herring, no. <laughs> so that's, a, that's an interesting one, too. A little bit complicated. I'll tell you a real simple story about it. So there's a red tide along the Gulf Coast, and after a while, red tides run out of nitrogen. They need nitrogen as one of the nutrients to grow. The Saharan dust is pretty heavy this year, and it's bringing over iron, and the iron is fueling the growth of a different kind of algae that's able to take nitrogen out of the atmosphere and give it to the red tide. It's keeping that tide going longer than we've ever seen before in, in the recent past. This, so, is, this, is, Carl, this is fascinating. But it's terrible news for the tourist industry because you don't have a short-term fix for either the first, the second, or the third algae bloom, do you? No, I mean, so I go to the beach every year, and um, this is the first year I've experienced it, and chances are next year everything will be fine again. You know, yeah. it's one of those things where it's just a perfect storm this year and we're having mm. these problems. Well, thanks for reporting it, uh, Carl. We do appreciate that, even if we don't like the news. Carl Havens, yeah. everyone, algae specialist. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Carl. Okay.